Capricorn. It's your turn for your timeless read. All right, it's Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. We are going to dive into your general tarot read for December and we will do like the first half of January. How's about that? Since, you know, it is where it's a little bit late in the month of December. Um, however, all of my reads are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. The only reason I put, you know, a month and the year on it. So if someone finds it and it resonates with them, then they can sort of get an idea of what timeline they're on, right? So that's it. Um, I will be doing a general read for you, Capricorn. Um, as you know, at this time, I'm no longer doing love readings. I did a community poll and everyone voted and everyone voted for general reads, not love reads. Okay. They voted for general reads and then they also voted for the twin flame energy updates. So I will still be doing energy updates for the divine masculine and the divine feminine. But as of right now, I am not focusing on love. I may, may next month put up another community voting poll, but I may not. So it just depends how, it, how you know, whatever, how it goes. All right. I've already sound cleansed your space. I think I have incense on here. <gasps> yeah, I do. Oh my God. All right. So let's just go ahead and dive right in Capricorn. Oh my God. All right. I'm going to start out with the dragon tarot for you. All right. So I was going to do your read yesterday and then I started coughing and I didn't feel well. So I feel like I'm still coming down with the cold. I got a little bit of a scratchy throat. So if that's what you're hearing, that's what that is. But, um, you know, we're still here. We're showing up for ourselves, right? And for you. All right. What do we got for Capricorn? Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages. What do we got for Capricorn? Whoa, your cards are flying out, Capricorn. All right, so we have Knights of Pentacles. What else do we have for Capricorn, please? Hmm. I've already connected to your guides and mine for the ones that watch. I'm going to go ahead and just get some cards laid out right here. And then I'll set them up for you so you can see them. And I just want to get a few laid out here before I do any type of storyline, okay? I need to see what the energy is like. Wow, Capricorn. So you are definitely going through some changes, I guess. Um, we have the Judgment card. That is a major arcana. So that shows me like you've been doing a lot of reflecting, right? It's judgment day. <laughs> you're, you're reflecting on all of these past lessons that you've learned and it's a beautiful energy to be in, right? It's, it's like the energy of closing out a cycle. You know, it's like, I've learned so much. I've learned all these lessons and now is the time to harvest, right? I know a lot of people are like, oh, you don't harvest in the winter. Oh, be quiet. Yes, we do. Everyone is on different timelines. Some people harvest in the summer. Some people harvest in the fall. Some people harvest in the spring and some people harvest in the winter. Um, I tend to do a lot of my harvesting in the winter. Two of wands. So we have a lot of wands here. Okay. So there's something that you've been flirting with, maybe doing um like some kind of a business endeavor okay i see that it's gonna go well um it's not going to be super duper lucrative but it's going to give you enough to be comfortable okay so we have knight of pentacles which is definitely the energy of like a new adventure right it's financial wise we have five of wands. So the five of wands shows me that you've been like fighting with this for a while with this idea, like not sure. There's some kind of internal conflict going on. 
And that also could be showing up in your outer world. So be careful about having these inner battles with yourself because they tend to show up in our reality. So if you've been sitting there like, oh, should I do this? Should I not? I don't know. And, and you're sort of wrestling with yourself. Like, should I do this? I don't know if I'm making the right decision, blah, blah, blah. And all in all, like, you just have to trust yourself. You can talk to your guides, um, meditate about it. But I do see that, you know, you are doing a lot of reflecting, right, on your past lessons. And so you pretty much know, right, you know what it is you need to do, if that makes sense. Even though you, you feel like you don't, you really do. <laughs> because I see that, you know, you reflecting on those past lessons in your life is what is really propelling you forward propelling you forward into this new energy of whatever it is you want to do financially right and it's a beautiful energy because the two of wands shows me that yes you're you are trying to decide between two different paths financially right but the path where you are working with someone else if that makes sense right with the three of pentacles this is like a collaboration with someone else so the path where you're working with someone else is going to be the path that is going to be the greatest asset for you right now, okay? So we have two of wands, which is the energy of partnership. It could be like a love relationship too, but this could just be like a business partnership, right? And three of pentacles, which shows me that you are, there's some type of collaboration, financial collaboration, you know? Whether that's business or, you know, you just splitting finances with someone, that's really going to help you at this time, Capricorn, okay? And because you've done all this reflecting on your past lessons, you're learning to trust yourself. You know that you've been through the ringer and you know that all of these lessons have served you well. Now nobody can pull no shit over your eyes, right? Right? Nobody can fool you now because you know your shit, okay? So don't let this inner conflict get in the way and don't let it interfere, right? Don't let it show up in your reality because, you know, if if you have, whatever's going on within you is going to show up on the outside. So if you're worried about something and you're having this internal battle, then people might be more um combative around you if that makes sense like they might try to create conflict because they sense that energy i don't know how else to explain it but the path where you work with someone else is going to be the most lucrative i will just say that capricorn okay let's pull a few more cards on this all right what else do we have for capricorn what else do we have for Capricorn, please? Eight of Swords. Yeah, whatever it is, like, I feel like you've been running around over and over again in your mind about this. And and that's okay. Like, that's natural. Like, when the only reason that you're doing this is because it means so much to you, Capricorn, right? And that's a beautiful thing that shows that you care about this you know, greatly. So it's, a, it's actually a really beautiful thing to care about something so much. Sorry, I thought I heard one of my kids calling me. All right, what else do we have? Let's get two more cards in from this deck. Four of Wands. Um, This path that you're deciding to take, if you can get out of your own way and stop letting these thoughts of like, am I making, am I making the right decision? Am I, am I following the right path? Right. If you can get out of your way and stop running those intrusive thoughts, like the eight of swords, there are those getting trapped in those thoughts, right? Those limiting beliefs, which is, that's what they are. If you can let go of them you're going to create a lot of stability for yourself with this new adventure, whatever it is, right? Four of Wands. Look, this is the card of stability. This is the card of creating 
financial stability for yourself, right? You know, the four of wands, if you know, if you watch my, my readings, you know, I call the four of wands, the four pillars of stability, because it means you have a house, you have a car, um, you have assets, right? Things that, that have value, monetary value, but also value to you, right? Um, this would be something like a, a, have a, having a solid financial foundation, something you can rely on. And it could possibly be like a fine or a stable relationship as well, right? It's all of the good things, Capricorn. There is a bird on here, which shows me that there could possibly be a message coming in, you know, in regards to like something, um, financial wise, um, something that is going to be good news. Like I, I'm hearing this angel blow the horn, like boop, announcement. Capricorn is financially stable due to so and so and so and so. Right? You could, if if you've been waiting on financial, some kind of financial news, like for those of you waiting on a new job, or you know, did you get the job position? Um, yes, I I would say the answer would be yes. Like the bird is the is a messenger of good news, right? And then we have the Knight of Cups. So shortly after this business luck <laughs> comes your way, Capricorn, we also have an offer of love. Look at that. I mean, it could be love or this could be like you just emotionally loving your what you're doing now financial wise. So, yeah, let's pull a card on this Knight of Cups and see if it's see if it has to do with you falling in love or someone offering you love or if it has to do with you just loving your some of you it'll be just like you're loving your new job or your new passion or whatever but it feels like a love offer tell me about the knight of cups please tell me about this knight of cups if we get another cups card then it's for sure like <laughs> someone offering you love tell me about the knight of cups please spirit Oh, five of cups. Okay, so it definitely could be a love offer. Um, so the five of cups is about someone. Let's see, five of cups, five of cups. What is the five of cups? Four of cups, five of cups. For some reason, I'm drawing a blank. What is the five of cups? I think it's like, hmm. Well, cups always have to do with emotions. Six of cups is feeling nostalgia. One second. This, the cat's scratching the door. Okay, sorry about that. My cat was wanting to come in. <laughs> okay, so we have the five of cups. This could be someone... This could be a love offer from someone that in the past you may have felt um, some kind of like like the energy wasn't right at the time right like you guys were clashing a lot um and so you were unsure about them i'm gonna pull another card actually about that all right why do we have the five of cups here whoever this person is i feel like they definitely want a second chance with you they may have came in before capricorn with like the wrong energy and all of a sudden, they're realizing that they screwed up big time. That's what it feels like. All right. Tell me about this five of cups, please, sir. Tell me about this five of cups, please. Ooh, yeah. We got ten of swords. This could have been something that didn't end very well at all. Like this person, oh, wow. And then look what just flipped out. I was going to ask for another card and we got Page of Cups and King of Cups. Wow. Okay. So, okay. So this is someone who, for some reason or another, you guys let go of each other. There was Ten of Swords energy. So it literally felt so awful. <laughs> um it was this energy of like, 
when you both had to let each other go, it felt so, so, so bad. I mean, I can literally feel the pain. Like I almost feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> like that's, it, it feels like a literal death. Like 10 of swords is like a symbolic death. And it literally feels like that. Like it, the feelings were just very painful, right? Not even like, it, it, this is even worse than like three of swords energy, right? Three of swords is like heartbreak. But this person, whoever they are, Capricorn, they have really deep feelings for you. Look, these are the two cards that came up back to back. Page of Cups, King of Cups. So this is very, very deep emotions. The King of Cups is, th their energy has definitely shifted. I don't know what it is that they went through, but whatever it was, it completely changed how they feel. Like they may have... For I don't know, I, I have no idea why it didn't work out, okay? I'm not even going to pretend to know. But this person definitely realized that they want to be with you. So that little separation was needed because look at this. Now they're coming in the right energy. They realize they have really deep, deep feelings for you, Capricorn. We have King of Cups, which is the energy of someone deeply in love, right? The King of Cups lives in sits and breathes in his emotions it's very cancerian energy like they live for love right and the page of cups also is about love it's about discovering something new usually the page of cups is about discovering new feelings right discovering deeper feelings it's like surprise we have something in this cup that you didn't realize was there before right Oh my God. So this could be someone possibly from your past coming back, Capricorn. All right. Um, and it's going to come right after you make a decision about something about your finances, whether it's a new job or a new financial move. I don't know if that makes sense. All right. We're going to pull a power of love card for you. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the financial thing is going to be different for everyone. For some of you, it'll be the start of a new job. For some of you, it's going to be like just deciding to combine finances with someone. For some of you, it'll be like a new business partnership. Um, maybe you're deciding to work with someone new. I don't know. It's just something that's going to happen with you financially. And then this person's going to come in. It's like everything comes in for you all at once and you're like, holy shit. <laughs> all right. So this is a power of love activation card. We're going to see what we're learning in the love department. Right. Now, this is just general love. It doesn't have to be romantic love. These cards. So we have action. You had the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. All right, beautiful. So this is about shining in your authentic self, Capricorn, right? Having the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. I love that. So this is about being authentic no matter what you're doing, whether it's, you know, in love, of course, whether you're in... um a platonic relationship, whether you're doing something for, you know, for work or for your financial um, health, right? You always follow your heart and your soul. And that's what makes you stand out. That's what makes you different from other people, right? You're not afraid to be who you are. It's really hard to be authentic and to have the courage to be yourself without people judging you. And you just don't give a flying fuck what anyone thinks about you, Capricorn. That's what's so fucking great. Is because of that, you do so well in everything. Because you just go at everything with this big, beautiful heart of love. It's incredible energy. Okay, so let's continue. We're going to use the other tarot deck now. Uh, sorry, I had to take a quick water break. We're going to move on to the other tarot deck and then we're going to pull some career cards for you and then we're going to wrap this reading up. All right. So if anything resonated for you in this video, please 
hit the like button. Um, it really helps me to grow my channel. There's lots of ways that you can support me, which are free, which is like sharing, subscribing, uh, sharing with all your cool Capricorn friends. I know I already said that, but I just had to say it again. Subscribing, liking, all of those really help me in the algorithm. It means a lot to me. I have two different tip jars down there, which you can use to tip me. Um, my beautiful Capricorns. Um, I have an Etsy shop you can check out, which, you know, it's a, a way to support me. I also have a Patreon page for those of you that don't know. And, you know, the tier is like $5 a month, I believe. So it's not going to break your pockets, but it's a way for you to support me monthly if you like to do that as well. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we have going on for Capricorn. Um, you know, also, you can book a reading with me if you want to by clicking on, you know, underneath my video in the description box. All my prices are below, and you just click on the Goldie appointment fix. All right, now that we got my little spiel out the way, let's rock and roll, Capricorn. Usually, I save it towards the end, but I don't know why I felt guided to do it in the middle of yours for some reason today. What do we have for Cappy? Cappy? Cappy, Cappy, Cappy. Ooh, nine of pentacles. Is that nine or ten? I think it's nine. Yeah. Yeah, wow. So, okay, remember we were talking about the financial stuff and it starts out kind of slow. By the end of, of you know, by the end of this joint venture, <laughs> I'm just going to say that, it's going to be very lucrative. Like, you will be very comfortable financial-wise. Okay? D almost rich. <laughs> Pretty much. So, Ten of Pentacles, where a Ten of Pentacles would be, like, extremely wealthy, like, you know, Elon Musk status, right? <laughs> Nine of Pentacles would be, like, um, I don't know. <laughs> Name someone who's sort of wealthy, but, like, not a millionaire, I guess. Um that <laughs> so like very very comfortable you know you don't struggle at all you have money to to throw around you know you can buy a gucci bag if you want to <laughs> oh man you could buy a tesla maybe <laughs> i don't know i love it it's so i'm giddy it's it's beautiful king of swords okay why do we have this King of Swords here? What's going on now? I love this deck because it's so small and it fits perfectly in my hands. King of Swords Tower. Wow. Okay, what's going on with that? Let's keep going. Let's see what's going on, Capricorn. Let's keep going. Judgment. Damn, we have judgment again. So, you know what this feels like, Capricorn? You may, wow, okay, this is going to sound weird, but I hope it resonates with someone. This person that you have this deep connection with, this could very well possibly be a twin flame relationship. Usually when we get King of Swords energy mixed with like a tower and then judgment, these are very twin flamey energy cards, right? Okay, we got judgment twice. So what this tells me is like in this connection, things happened very quickly. There was like a very strong boom, like very fast spiritual connection. Like you guys felt instantaneously, almost like you knew each other immediately. Now that's what the tower represents to me, right? When it comes out in a connection like that. Now the king of swords, this could have possibly been one or both of you um, trying to detach from the situation because things can get very intense in those connections. And with the judgment, this shows me that this is a connection of learning from each other, right? That's why I said those cards, cards all in conjunction with each other tells me that you guys have learned from each other. Okay. These past life lessons, we got it twice. And, you know, you see the connection, right? So 
it doesn't make sense that you would get the king of swords and this person is very detached from you because we got the king of cups, meaning they have very deep emotions for you. There's that card, the page of cups, in conjunction with all of these. Now, to an uh, inexperienced reader, they were to read these cards, they'd be like, oh, it's a tower moment. This person doesn't have strong feelings for you. But remember, I pulled those other cards, which stated that they do have strong feelings for you, right? And usually when strong feelings like that come up and then it comes up with a tower and a judgment, this shows me that both of you have tried to detach from this relationship because it isn't easy, right? The twin flame relationship is hard. It can be. It doesn't have to be. But when you start learning off of each other like mirrors, reflecting each other's pains and lessons and shadows, it's not easy. But that instantaneous tower moment of boom, this is a, the greatest attraction I've ever felt. And it's not even just attract attraction. It's like, boom, it's two magnets just colliding into each other. And I have chills. Holy fuck. All right. I need to. Oh, man. What else does Capricorn need to know? This reading's getting really long. <laughs> it's 26 minutes in. We got to wrap it up. Holy shit. Yeah, it's like, so both of you have tried to let go of this, right? But I don't see it. Wow, and now it's a fresh start. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about that, Capricorn. My littles need something. Okay, so you may have walked away from this, Capricorn, or they may have walked away from it because it became too intense. But look at this. We have zero. This is the fool. So this is a fresh start, period. This is a fresh start either with this person, right? But not just a fresh start with this person. They're coming back around, right? It's also a fresh start all, all, it, all over in general. Like this is a fresh start for your life. Look at this. You got an increase, a major increase in finances. And then you have love. It's going to, boom, it, it hits you like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't my best, but you know what? I, it had to come out. Seriously, look at that. Damn, damn, Capricorn. You better buckle up, bitch, because it's about to get crazy. <laughs> Seriously. All right, let's move on to career portion. This reading is getting way too long. All right, let's do a card for those who work for themselves, those who are entrepreneurs. I've been keeping most of these readings under 25 minutes and yours is already at 27. All right, let's pull it because the energy is so intense. I couldn't stop. I had to keep going. I had to get answers for y'all. All right. So yeah, like you, you seriously, Capricorn, you have to like this video. <laughs> Just like it because I mean, hey, seriously, hit that thumbs up because look, I try to, I don't, I don't just close out the reads. I try to, I try to get clarity and answers for y'all. I try, right? I don't leave it open-ended like some readers do. All right. So let's go ahead and get a card for those who work for themselves, entrepreneurs. Okay. We're going to do that first. The entrepreneurs. What's the advice and spirit for the entrepreneurs, please? For the entrepreneurs. What do we got? There's your card. We have attracting, not chasing. And then let's get a card for those who work a nine to five or work for someone else, please. The nine to fivers. Mm, those that work for someone else. Let's get a card for them. Woo. Release resentments about money. All right. So right away, attracting, not chasing. Look, there's this energy of fire. So whatever it is, you're very passionate about what you do. Let me just say that there's going to be a lot of growth right now in your business for those entrepreneurs, the ones that work for themselves. Look, the flower represents growth and we have a lion there. Okay, you have that boss like fire Leo energy. It says anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying the chasing energy. 
Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. So this is about your finances. So instead, attract what you need. So send out some love, some gratitude, welcome your, you know, your new finances and your riches by acting like you already have it. Tell the universe, thank you for my money. Thank you for my riches because I know they're coming and watch it just come in. As long as you don't have any limiting beliefs, you know, it's going to come in. All right. The only thing that holds us back is ourselves, right? Our limiting beliefs. I'm struggling with that. So, you know, we're all in the same boat. If you struggle with lim limiting beliefs, then I'm right there with you. <laughs> I've been using um, sapien medicine. Um, it's a like an energetic morphic field. Um, it's called Get Rid of Limiting Beliefs. And it's by Sapien Medicine, and it's really done wonders for me. So if you want to look it up, it's Sapien Medicine. Get rid of limiting beliefs, okay? I, I'll try to link it below if I can remember, but it's, it's really good. Okay, so release resentments about money. So this is for those who work for someone else. Yes, the money system in the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. This is true, okay? It really does. Instead, see money as a tool that you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you to attract support and golden opportunities. You know what? This card has been coming out a lot for people. And I think it's really beautiful because oh, my throat is, is I'm losing the battle to my my voice with my cold. Okay, so this is true. If you can see money as a tool for you to assist other people for the greater good, like for instance, giving money to charities, giving money to animal shelters, helping children like St. Jude's Hospital, um, donating money to those who are less fortunate, you know, giving, buying things for homeless people, donating to homeless shelters, women's shelters, things like that that are near and dear to your heart. You can see money as a tool to assist you in those things. Then money will be attracted to your beautiful heart because money wants to be used for good, not for bad. If you sit there and go, oh my God, I have to pay for gas again with all this stupid money. Money's going to go, excuse me. And it's not going to want to be around you. Money wants to be where it's welcomed and it's used as a tool for love. So love your money. Tell your money, money, thank you for being here. I can go and give a dollar, two dollars, whatever it is, 50 cents to this animal shelter to help this beautiful critter that is so beautiful and is so dear to my heart and watch how the money just falls into your bank account because it loves to be loved and to use for good. By you, beautiful Capricorn. All right, that concludes this reading. I hope something resonated. I love you so freaking much. Please comment and, and comment, comment, comment. Love to read you guys' comments. I love to hear what resonates. You guys are fucking awesome. All right, bye.